They say the island life is all but just a dream. Basking in sand and salt water, plunging in the depths of an aquatic world, and soaking up the sun of an eternal summer. These images conjure a sweeter life, a tropical refuge far away from the reality of daily city life. For urban dwellers, this is indeed a dream worth living. For the residents of Occidental Mindoro, this is life. And there is no denying how sweet it is. Just off the coast of Luzon, occupying half of the seventh largest island in the Philippines, sits the province of Occidental Mindoro. It is located in the southern region of Luzon, on the western half of Mindoro Island. Its shores embrace the waves from the South China Sea, Mindoro Strait, and the Verde Island Passage. It is the home of 11 municipalities with Mamburao as its capital. The largest, with a total land area of 2,189 square kilometers, is the municipality of Sablayan. The name Sablayan was derived from the word Sablay, a Visayan term meaning wave convergence. This can be traced to the town's geographical location where the waves of the North and South China Sea meet and collide. While the island's breathtaking views can delight and captivate its visitors, there is much to do and explore on land, underwater, and even above air. Take a 30-minute boat ride from the Sablayan mainland to Pandan Grande Island and get a preview of life aquatic beneath those turquoise waters. Choose to indulge in this tropical retreat beneath the looming coconut trees and unspoilt flora. Or jump in and swim, kayak, or scuba dive and explore the world below. A short distance will take you to the island's little sibling, Pandan Pequeño, meaning little in the Spanish tongue, can be accessed by a quick boat ride. Or how about flying through the air on a speedy zip line? From the Sablayan mainland clifftop, you can cross 1.5 kilometers and reach Pandan Pequeño Island in less than five minutes. And with a full 360-degree view such as this, who wouldn't be left breathless? This is Apo Reef. Often the highlight for travelers and scuba divers around the world, it is the second largest coral reef system on Earth, measuring over 34 square kilometers. It is home to one of the richest and most diverse marine species in the country. Thus, it is closely protected by the Apo Reef Natural Park. The reef is surrounded by uninhabited islands. The largest is Apo Island, with a 29-hectare stretch of white sand. It is a favorite nesting ground for wild sea turtles, such as the hawksbill and green sea turtle. The island is separated from the reef by a narrow, deep channel and must not be mistaken for another island of the same name in the Visayas region. A leisure trek deep within the heart of this island will take you to a lagoon and mangrove forest, rich with beach vegetation. 
if you can stay still and listen closely enough, you might even hear the songs and sounds of the various bird species that dwell within the lush forest canopies. There is much to see and explore on this rich island. Towering 110 feet above the ground, this modern lighthouse has solar-powered lights and offers nothing but the most complete view of the entire Apo Reef. The original tower, known as the Apo Reef Light, was erected during the American period in Philippine history and was the tallest lighthouse tower in the country. If you stand still and listen closely enough, you may be able to hear it. Soft whispers and sweet songs carried through the air. Its source can only be traced to the rich wildlife that thrives deep within the heart of its forests and the depths of its crystal waters.